A deaf man and his wife are suing the city of San Marcos and four police officers. They say officers tased him without warning and kicked him repeatedly after he fell to the ground. KXA is Jayla Washington joining us live here in the studio after speaking with the couple about their experience. Yeah, well, Sydney and Robert, police were actually called out to a domestic violence incident, or so they thought. But John Kelly and his wife tell me it was a total misunderstanding. Now, they're both deaf and were arguing via sign language and say it may have looked aggressive. I want to show you some of his injuries. You can see what appears to be markings from where Kelly says he was tased, and he's still wondering why it escalated the way it did. Scratches, scabs, and marks from a run-in with San Marcos police are ingrained into John Kelly's mind. He says officers used excessive force unprovoked, landing him in the hospital. I was completely distraught. There was no discussion, no communication at all, nothing. Kelly and his wife are both deaf. They wound up in a parking lot because Kelly walked off after an argument. Someone called police. I just told them that I am deaf. I verbally said that I was fine this, I am deaf. And then they instantly just tased me. Kelly's wife says she also tried telling police her husband is deaf already too late by the time EMS had arrived. I was completely confused. I thought they were helping him, but the police immediately left and said, you can go. The lawsuit alleges officers tased Kelly, then kicked him repeatedly while on the ground. Then he blacked out. Kelly says after the fact, one of the officers communicated with him through the notes on his cell phone, writing in part, you were kicked because your hands were kept under your chest. That officer believed you may have been reaching for what could have been a weapon. When we kicked you, he didn't know you were deaf. Meanwhile, Kelly's lawyers are saying this is a civil rights case. Certainly they were violated. He didn't do anything wrong. They have to be in a position to evaluate those circumstances and respond accordingly. And when they don't, they have to be held accountable. Kelly and his wife now say they're still on edge two years later. I just didn't understand why they hurt me. Now, it's also worth noting that Kelly's kids were present at the time while this was all happening. They are deaf. We did reach out to the city of San Marcos. A spokesperson says, Neither the city nor police officers will comment on pending litigation. I'm live in the studio, Jayla Washington, KXAN News. All right, Jayla, thank you. A law that went into effect in 2019 aims to improve communication between police officers and people with disabilities. A person can bring a doctor's note to the Texas Department of Motor Vehicles and get a code associated with his or her license plate number. When officers look up the plate during a traffic stop, they'll know about the disability instantly. One instance of excessive force in San Marcos led a police officer to get charged with a crime and lose his job. James Palmero had pulled over a car in the downtown area in 2013. Alexis Alpha was stopped for walking too close to the traffic stop. Body camera video shows the two arguing. Then when Alpha tries to pull away, she slammed to the ground face first. She suffered a concussion and broken teeth. The San Marcos Police Department looked into the incident and Palmero's history of arrests. They found a pattern of him filing resisting arrest charges and suspects being hurt. Palmero was charged with aggravated assault by a public servant. He was never taken to trial nor sentenced even one day in jail. Palmero took a plea deal that included surrendering, surrendering his peace officer license, meaning who would never work in law enforcement in Texas again. We highlighted this case in our investigation, Bargaining the Badge. You can find that full report online now at KXAN.com.